Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. I'm going to try to uh, put a new power roller in the C model on camera. I haven't done this in a long time. There's the return clutch end. Here's the drive end. And let's open this thing up and get it uh, in position to install the new roller. Take the keyboard off. Take the uh, top lid off here. Get it out of the way. Come on, buddy. Alright. Put this. I already have the back panel loose here, so. Okay, so now we've got the screws already loose down here. Should be able to flip this onto its back. Like, you gotta lift it and pull it. Lift it and pull it. Come on, buddy. Oh, this is a big machine. It's not coming out. I think the cord is. Mm, cord is free. Hanging up on this. There it goes. Boy, this thing's a monster. Okay. We're going to try to do this while it's still in the case. So here's our blank spot for the roller. Right there. And uh, let's see if I can remember how to do all this. Okay, now that, that goes onto a screw that gets put in after the roller. So one of these washers goes on this side like that. I'm gonna clean this this edge of this roller here. It doesn't look too great. some oil on it. Yeah. Probably just the way it looks. Put some oil on this. Rub it in there. Okay. Wash my hand. I don't want any oil on my hand. Transfer to the roller. Don't need that. Okay, let's we just got to get lined up with this bearing over here. Okay, and that will manipulate the clutch, get it in there all the way. Okay, we'll put the return uh, cork clutch in in a minute after we do this uh, initial assembly. And it's definitely not in there all the way. Okay, let me manipulate the clutch. Here we go. Now it's in. So now this little bit protrudes over here. And another washer goes on right here. I'm not sure. I think maybe. Let's put it on the inside here. Maybe one on the outside, but it goes there. Drop oil on this. And this piece goes on with the little divots here on the inside, and I don't think it matters which way it goes. Position wise. So, let me see if I can see how it went. Well, let me 
gonna go with it right like this. And if everything's right, this will fit in here snugly. Not a word snugly. It doesn't look right. Okay, let's take this out. I might have to go this way right here. There we go. Has to clear this nut over here so it does go only one way. Okay, let's put some screws in here. Get this thing mounted. Find me. Right, screwdriver will help. Okay, that's great. Try a bigger screwdriver. So I get this first one started here. I know this one down here takes a longer of the screws, which is this one, because it's got to uh, be able to connect up with this big old spring here. So let's see if we can get that started. All good. And the third one will go in right over there. Okay, let's tighten it up. Tight. Tight. And tight. Okay. Just a little bit of movement, that's good. I almost think that washer should have gone out here, but probably not that critical. Okay, this piece goes this way. It's got a little dry thing for the rubber here to mesh up with. Like that. And let's tighten it up. Sure there's just a little bit of side to side movement. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Tighten up. Hmm. Okay, I just had to trip the space bar cams and stuff. Two set screws on this. I'm real tight now. Make sure they're very tight. Very tight. Alright, put the belt on. Okay, feels right. One trouble I had before with these was it was not the roller. They had to redo it two times to get it so it wasn't out around. Let's connect this spring up right here. Let's peek under here and see. So there's that little gap right there. When I roll this, it should stay even. Oh, that look what? It looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit up and down. You can kind of see it right there. Not much. I think that's very acceptable. The other one was really noticeable. So let's.
let's put the return clutch in over here. Thankfully they simplified. This actually takes a little spacer in here to keep it from making noise, but I'll try. I actually think I have some of those. So this door comes off and you gotta watch these springs right here and here and here. Make sure they don't come off, but this in place. But see that little bit of play right there? That's what that little spacer takes care of in it. Sometimes it makes like a rattled noise if it's not in place. All right, put the cap back on. Done. Power roller is in. Shall we try? Shall we try it? I say yes. Let's try it. Put this guy in. Let's see. Got an on-off button up here that's still broken. that way. Let's try it. Turn it on. It didn't start right away. It's, the motor's turning. Flush that motor out a little bit. Let's try it now. It's definitely coming from the motor. Well, I think this thing's been started in a decade or two. Okay, so it's on. I'm gonna have to put it back down in its frame to really get a test out of it. So let's drop it. Down and get this thing back. Place there. It's trying to go by. There we go. Noisy industrial area that I got here. All right, let's uh, all right. Let's turn it on. It's gonna squeal, I think. Until I fix that motor. There we go. <laughs> everything is everything is dry over here. Huh. Move up some stuff here. Real quick, see if we can get this to. Stop making noises. Okay. But what we're looking for is just the initial test here of the tight impression. Alright, let's try the sucker. Here, that sounds very consistent, and uh, the light ones there are the period in the dash, or the comma in the period, and impression control is on low. That was, that was a little slow. I'm going to put some lacquer in there and see if the L is just dirty in here. Nope. So I might have to adjust that. Let's try capitals. the 
L there. It's not feeling right. Let me flip this thing up. Try adjusting the L. Well, I got it here. So, so the adjustments for these are these screws right here. And we just need to find which one is the L, and I believe. Out is harder. I think it's gonna squeal again as soon as I turn this thing on. No. Nope. It's got jammed up tight bars. Okay, that helps. Seems consistent, which is another thing. The nine's a little weak. That's definitely on the low setting, so let's try uh, moving this impression control up and see if that nine increases itself. Yes, it does. All right. So we can compensate that with the uh, impression control if needed. I'll try to. I'll go in here and fine tune these and try to get them all equal with those screws beneath and uh, that's it. I'm going to put the on-off switch back in over here and I'm going to re-lube the uh, motor and the drivetrain over here and figure out what's squealing. Make sure that's okay. It's probably just a dry bearing. Old oil. Alright, this is a power roller installed and it doesn't sound like the uh, return clutch down here is making any noise. So. This should be fine right here. Yeah, I'll probably just leave that. Seems pretty strong. Nice. Shakes the bench. That's nice. Alright, Phoenix typewriter. IBM C model. New power roller. Good day.